Today we're installing a gauge panel or gauge kit from pontoonstuff.com. This has a tachometer, it has a voltage gauge, and then it has a blank where you could add in a fuel gauge, a temp gauge, uh, water pressure, whatever that might be for you. You could add a different gauge in here. Right now it's just a nice clean black plastic blank. On the back side, I think this is where people get a little bit confused, a little bit concerned when they see the, what's happening back here. Very straightforward. We have a pigtail that comes off of our gauges and these wires will correspond to your engine. So there is a sheet that gives you the description of what each colored wire means and where to hook that up uh, on your engine. So for the most part, and this doesn't apply to every engine, check the sheet, but purple tends to be key on power, gray tends to be your tachometer, black is always gonna be your ground, and then there's an accessory, an additional wire that could be a signal for those other gauges that you might add, like a fuel sender, that sort of thing. On the back here, our ground wire connects to one gauge, and then it's gonna piggyback to the other gauges as well. So we only need that one ground wire connected, and then it'll ground out to the other gauges too. Our blue wire here that's connected would go to a power source, because this is gonna power the lights separately from uh, for your gauges. So you could put that to a switch panel, maybe your nav lights, so then you turn your nav lights on. These come on, if you have other courtesy or interior lights, you could do that too. Uh, but that's what your blue wire is for. And then we're hooking this up for a mercury. So our gray wire is our tachometer, purple is our key on power, uh, and then the blank, we could insert another gauge. We're gonna keep it simple and we're gonna keep it as a blank. So I'm gonna take my template, I've cut out the outer, so the dotted lines, and it shows you where your holes are gonna be at everything. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, square it up where I want it, and I always cut just a little slit right in the middle here. So when I have this where I want it, we're going in this upper right-hand corner because we have a bigger dash uh, switch panel going over here. But I'm gonna get it squared up the best I can, and then I'm gonna make a mark right in the middle. So now I know when I cut out this uh, filled in or thick line, that's gonna be my actual cutout tracing. I can line my center back up with the mark I made here on the dash, and that way I get it cut exactly where I wanted it in the first place. I've got that solid line cut out, so this is actually the hole I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna line that up with my mark that I made in the center. Now I'll trace the outside of this, and then we can start to cut. I've got my cutout traced. I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I always start by cutting on the inside edge of this line. Tends to be enough space, but remember you can always cut more away if you need to. You can't add dash backs. I'm gonna use my Dremel tool. It plugs in uh, to an outlet and it can rip right through this. It's pretty thick plastic, you'd be surprised. Uh, my battery power tends to die after doing a couple different cutouts, but the, the plug-in, that's the way to go. We've got our hole cut out. Now let's line up our gauge kit and put it in. I'm gonna go ahead, square up my gauge kit. Everything fit in there nicely. Kind of using this top edge as my line of where I'm gonna line up. And then I'll start with one screw in the top. Now that I have that in position, double check my straight line at the top again here. And then I'll press the second screw in to hold that straight line. All I have to do now is put in my bottom two screws and we are set to go. It's going to a newer model, four stroke, fuel injected, Mercury 60 horsepower. The pigtails will go to a harness. It's about, a, I think, a $38 harness. You have to get it at your local marina or order it online, but it'll hook right into the guts of my key switch, which will send the engine signal to the dash panel, and that's how I'll get my gauges to read. Your motor might be different, uh, as always, consult your local marina for engine or accessory questions pertaining to your motor in particular.